Comoros President Azali Asumani, who hopes to win a third term in office next weekend, hailed his record of maintaining peace and building roads and hospitals in the poverty-stricken country. Some 340,000 voters are expected to go to the polls on Sunday for a presidential election in which minus one candidates are standing. The opposition is divided between those who want an election and those calling for a boycott, leaving the Sumani camp hoping for victory in the first round of voting. Since my return to power in 2016, we have maintained peace and security, enabling health and road projects to get underway. The outgoing head of state told a press conference at the presidential palace. He pointed out that Comoran spend a total of nearly 30.5 million euros each year on medical treatment abroad. The biggest hospital in the country, the El Maruf, north of the capital Moroni, is set to be inaugurated in the first half of this year. Around 45% of the 870,000 inhabitants of the Indian O. C. and Archipelago live below the poverty line, according to the World Bank. Every year, many Comorans die in small boat wrecks as they try to reach the nearby French islands of Mayotte in the hope, among other things, of receiving medical treatment. A demonstration calling for a boycott of the vote is scheduled in Moroni, but such displays of political protest are rarely authorized in the country. Unarmed policemen and gendarmes will be close to the polling stations. The army will be nearby in the event of disturbances, the president warned. How can a candidate allow himself to interfere in the organization of elections? Protested Salam Misa Abdillah, candidate for the opposition Juwa party, Asumani. 65, who is also the current president of the African Union, has ruled the country with an iron fist, and many of his opponents have been thrown into prison or forced into exile.